Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is my four month update video. Sorry about the lighting, uh, it sucks. Um, so, I guess I'll talk about my changes. Um, really, just my voice dropping, and I have a lot of acne on my face, uh, really bad, and I switched to a new cleanser, and it's kind of helping, but I still got it all over the place. Um, so hopefully, it starts to clear up. Um, I've never had acne before this, so it's kind of like weird, but it's pretty bad. I don't think I can pick it up on the screen, uh, but it is pretty bad. You can see right there. Um, also, a lot of hair growing in. I can shave, and then like two days later, later the hair is the same length. So it's really frustrating, uh, but um, I guess you gotta take what you get. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I've been practicing shaving, um, and it's pretty difficult for me, I don't know why, but I'm working on it, like, I'll shave my face, and then I'll look in the mirror, I'll be done, cleaned up, and I'll look in the mirror, and there's, like, a patch of hair, so I'm getting kind of frustrated with that, but I'll work on it. Um, a change that I have not mentioned, mentioned in any of my videos, I don't know why, is that I haven't had my period in three months, um, which is something you would think would be exciting for someone to say, um, but I just keep forgetting it. I had my period the month I started tea, and after that I haven't had one since, and it's pretty amazing. Uh, I still do worry though that I'll be in school and look down and see my period. <laughs> um, that still worries me, but uh, it's just pretty cool not having one for three months. You know, maybe like in six months I won't worry so much, uh, but right now I'm just worried that I'm just going to randomly start it uh, since I'm not like on a schedule anymore. Um, so yeah, but that's pretty cool, three months. I know a lot of guys don't stop their period while on T, uh, but I was lucky and it stopped, thank god. Um, so I guess I'll talk about the, the emotional aspects of transitioning for me. Um, I've been a lot happier, mostly because I've been seen as male a lot, like since two months on TF passed as male. Um, and I remember looking back and before I started transitioning, when I was in therapy and I was talking about getting on hormones, I remember looking at people's YouTube videos that were on four, five, six months on T and seeing how happy they were because the changes are so apparent right now and you're starting to look like your age and stuff. Um, so uh, I remember being so excited seeing those videos and now I'm at that spot and it's amazing. Um, I'm turning 20 on September 30th and it's just cool finally starting to look my age like my pre t videos I looked like I was 16 and now I'm starting to look like I'm 20 um, which is nice uh, go to a few more months I'll definitely look 20 I hope uh, but I know I'm definitely getting there uh, when I tell people how old I am they're not like shocked or anything um, which is cool um, another thing is uh, learning how to be in all male groups or being accepted into an all male group. Um, this year I'm completely male in all my classes. My name hasn't been changed yet, but when the teacher calls roll, I just say my name's Jake and then everyone catches to that. So, <clears throat> but no one ever thinks that I used to be a female. Um, <clears throat> even the people I've had classes with before, they don't even recognize me. I don't know. Um, so, um, in first aid, this is how our group like naturally segregated themselves, and I'm not racist or anything, I'm just saying this is what happened. So on the left side of the room you have all the black guys, in the middle of the room you have all the girls, and on the right side you have all the white guys. Um, and it was like naturally the white guys invited me into their group. And it was just really cool and getting to talk to all males and hearing their perception of things because I'm used to talking to all females or a mix of the genders 
uh, but now I'm talking to all males and it's just cool how they perceive me as one of them and uh, just talking to them after class and everything they're really cool guys um, they don't know I'm trans and I don't think I'm gonna tell them and but for the most part they just think I'm one of them and it's pretty awesome um, I like that feeling uh, and I'm still getting used to it because I've never been in that situation before um, but yeah it's pretty cool um, <clears throat> uh, the next thing I'm trying to work on my name change uh, it's taking them forever to get back to me so I might call them and then I still have to call to get uh, the top surgery thing scheduled out and everything figure that stuff out um, Oh, I forgot to mention, like, the one thing that bothers me at school is the male bathrooms. And I know the, uh, FTM Transtastic has been talking about this now. Um, but for me, <clears throat> the male bathrooms just gross me out. Like, I'm not embarrassed to go in there, but, um, every time I go in there, it's a complete mess. And it's just, like, doesn't smell nice like the girls' restrooms or anything. Um, it's pretty gross, so... I don't really go and a lot of times um, <clears throat> I forget my STP and the reason why it's important to have your STP and practice on it is even though you can sit down in the men's restroom and get away with it there's a lot of piss or other stuff on the toilets so I'd rather stand up and use the STP because then you don't sit on that stuff it's pretty gross um, but yeah, so far my uh, transition has been great, um, and yeah, that's just what's been going on with me, school, I'm starting to look for a job, and I'm working on my name and stuff, so. <sighs> Let me know if you have any questions, and um, I'll get back to you, thanks guys.